The way to get rid of tension is to do just the opposite of all the things that cause it. Hello everyone, this is Yuga from Ichiban Painting and this is going to be my first ever video of what's in the box. A lot of people out there have been asking for me to do that kind of unboxing uh, videos. Don't really like to do that. But I decided, you know, since you're my viewers, I'll do whatever you want. So I'm not going to jump from a bridge or something like that. But yeah, if it's video wise and I can do it, I'll do it. So um, this is going to be uh, what's in the box for the Storm Eagle uh, Assault Gunship uh, from Forge World. I'm only going to do this for special kits. I'm not going to do the normal kit because I don't think it's worth it. Um, so basically, you do get the biggest, baddest Forge World bag I've ever seen in my life. Uh, with this kit, even my Titan didn't come in a bag like this. Uh, you do get a super new uh, 2012 <coughs> catalog, but let's get into it. Uh, you do get the typical Forge World instruction, which aren't really uh, detailed. Then now to the a little uh, important parts. You get three uh, three spurs of Storm Raven kit, which is supposed to be one that is the landing gear spur. Then after that one, which is the wings that are not there anymore, but the wing. And you're supposed to get a third one, which has the pilot in it and the guns. But if, as you can see, I do have two spurs that are exactly the same. So a Forge Wheel did a mistake, and it's the second time in two orders that they make a big mistake like that. But you know it does happen. So uh, Forge Wheel customer service is really nice. Uh, if you call them, I, I heard bad thing about their email customer service. But if you call them, they're gonna send out a replacement really fast. So that's not a big problem. So uh, one thing about the spur, uh, I heard a lot of people talking about it, and I checked it. And actually, with the parts that you're gonna be left with here, if you do spend probably like 10 or 15 pounds on Bits website, where you can order, uh, you know, like individual parts for your thing, you're gonna be able to pull out a Storm Raven uh, from this kit. Uh, technically, uh, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna attempt it, but just to give the information out there. You do get a big, a huge bag of, uh, of resin parts and this kit actually comes with a lot of resin. Um, so not that much plastic either. So uh, the main body looks like this. Uh, bear in mind that this is, you know, assembled. Uh, normally the bare body is is flat and, uh, you know, not the wings or the, the, the engines or anything. But this is the main body of the beast. Um, I was really, really, really impressed, and I want to show you just an example of how good this is. I was really impressed with the casting quality of this model. Uh, you know, as you can see here, it is actually flawless. There's two or three parts on it that did have a couple of issues, but it's one of the best kits, I mean, uh, quality-wise, that I've got from Forge World in a long time. So. Um, this is the what the forge um, the main body looks like. Uh, if you're wondering and you didn't read the the storm uh, eagle um, instru not instruction but information page, Rhino doors fits on it. Uh, so I I did assemble it a little bit because I wanted to give you a you know a little bit of a of size idea of what it looks like. Uh, when you get the kit, but it does look like that a uh, really cool kit with the wings here that you uh, that you get that will look like uh, If they're put here like this kits come comes together really well, you know here you go Kits come together really well for where I'm at right now the only thing that I saw is that um, You know the main body was bent a little bit like most of the forge wheel stuff when they comes in because it's resin So it does warp a little bit um, if you do use a, a blow dryer, uh, air dryer, or if you do use hot water and you run it down on the body, then after that you're gonna be able to strain it up. As far as you know, like plastic versus uh, plastic on uh, plastic on resin, uh, putting them together, they do look like they're gonna be fitting pretty well. Although a lot of people was uh, talking about this part here not fitting quite 
that well and but it doesn't look to be that big of an issue because when you look at the body it does lined up pretty well together so I think that's gonna be a good thing the only uh, thing I want to point out is that if you're expecting to have the back door um, if you're expecting to have your back door opening and closing the way the Ingest system works on this kit is that you see those little pin there and this comes to clip there but it doesn't really clip on and there's nothing that goes on top to actually secure it uh, I checked everywhere on the kit I didn't find it if there's another one drop it and drop me a line on the comment section and I made a mistake but I don't think it's it is so basically if you open your door it's gonna actually fall off so um, it's a if you want to use the back door you're pretty much gonna end up uh, gluing it it shut um, also structure wise the way the back body of the of the uh, the storm eagle is made um, the back door if it's glued shut will actually give a lot of structural support for this uh, because the engines are a very big piece of resin the back part here is an, a, a huge heavy piece of resin a lot of the weight of this uh, bad boy is going to be on the back of the plane so and and the the um, the deck or the floor of this model is just this flimsy piece so this is gonna absorb all the weight on here so I think that by gluing the back door it would actually give you a little bit more of structural support if you don't want to the interior is pretty nice uh, and you know could be painted pretty nicely but the interior does separate in the middle uh, so there's a there's a door section that goes right there like this uh, so if you glue the back door then you're still gonna have this door section so you don't have to paint the whole interior you can only paint this section here and have the front door that works on a normal Land Raider type uh, in system which is gonna be solid as far as like I told you since there's this part here that's a little bit warped and I don't know how it's gonna glue in together with uh, the plastic main body of uh, by the top body of the part I don't know if it's gonna cause problems with the door I'm not there yet in the kit but it's pretty cool uh, as far as weapon option magnetizing is really easy uh, it's really not hard to magnetize the weapon I don't have the other weapon sprue but I think there's a missile launcher that can go uh, uh, under uh, under wing missiles that can go here so you're gonna be able to magnetize those as far as uh, the front uh, guns that are gonna be here it's the same thing as a storm eagle so if you ever work a uh, storm a uh, raven so if you ever work with the um, storm raven you're gonna be able to figure it out pretty quickly uh, so although I would say it's a it's a pretty good kit the price it's a little bit pricey and you know 90 pounds for it plus shipping but it does give you a lot of nicely resin, you know, cast resin parts. Uh, really cool model. It's pretty big, as you can see with my my hand. It's a, you know, it's probably the same width as uh, the main body as a rhino. But when you put it there, you can actually it's gonna cover th almost three rhinos in length, and uh, or two, no, two rhinos in length, and about three rhinos with uh, the wingspan on it. So it's pretty. It's a pretty huge badass nice kit so uh, that's pretty much it so that's what you get when you buy the storm uh, eagle from forge Wheel. so i hope you guys enjoy it uh you like the video you know it was requested by you so that's why i did this so i really hope you enjoy it, and i'll see you on the next video